we are living in a day and age where things are very uncertain and it looks as if the world is going to end. Things are not going to go back to the way they used to be. And so what do we do? We trust in Jesus. We obey his commandments. But we have to make sure that we have a good foundation so that when the storms come, we will not be moved. Matthew chapter 24 from verses 6 to 13. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end will be saved. Wars and rumors of wars, we see that happening. Look at even what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. They look like they're at each other's necks. So it's serious. Exactly what the Bible has prophesied is coming to pass. And we need to wake up and realize the second coming of Jesus Christ is going to happen at any time. We need to make sure that our lives are right with God so that we can be raptured because there's no second chance. There's no salvation after the rapture. But we also have to be mindful that you can die at any time. It doesn't matter if you think you're fit and healthy one day. The future is uncertain. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Yesterday you can never get back. So today that you're alive could potentially be a day that you're going to die. If you're committing any secret sins, if you're not obeying Jesus' commandments, you shouldn't think that you always have time to repent. You shouldn't think that you have tomorrow because tomorrow is uncertain. Jesus Christ is your only way of being saved. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ will allow you to get into heaven. Him knowing you is the only way you'll be liberated from hell. It's the only way you'll be liberated from the bondage of Satan. If you're not being persecuted for being a Christian, then that's a red flag. Because being a Christian is living out a life where you're obeying Jesus' commandments. You're basically an example of Jesus Christ to people who don't know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was righteous. Jesus Christ was holy. Jesus Christ helped those who are in need. You need to reevaluate your life to see whether or not you're living a life that's of this world or you're living a life that God wants. And if you're living a life that God wants, then you know that he's going to allow you to get into heaven because you've represented him and his Christ in the right way. But if you're representing Jesus Christ in a negative way by not obeying his commandments and not really having a relationship with him by reading his word and allowing him to be number one in your life but you're not going to get into heaven you're not going to get into heaven because your pastor says you're going to get into heaven you're not going to get into heaven because you go to church on a sunday you sing a few songs you sing some hymns and then you think that's you're automatically going to get into heaven no that's not what the word of god says and that's not who god is god doesn't allow hypocrites to get into heaven that's just the truth it may be a hard message to some but if you hear it and you get a chance to repent before you die then at least you would have been saved knowing the truth rather than dying being deceived and you wake up finding yourself in hell seek the lord jesus christ while he may be found jesus said whoever desires to come after me must deny themselves take up their cross and follow me if you choose to deny yourself and if you choose the Lord Jesus Christ over yourself, over your desires, over your pleasures, over sinful acts, and over iniquity, He Himself will choose you. That's what true Christianity is. Crucifixion of the old Adamic sinful nature and living out a life of the nature of Jesus Christ, which allows us to be freed from bondage and captivity of sin and damnation. God bless you. I'll see you guys later.